Hey guys, Amber Star here. Welcome back to a, another Visual Farmer. And this episode's going to be a little different. It's going to be the Silk Farming Guide, but all the areas I'm going to go to are going to be both for Alliance and Horde. Except for two, and I will mention them. And most of the time I'm going to be using my Night Elf here. But. Of course, I'm going to lay a little bit both Alliance and Horde, even though I'm just using an Alliance character. I use her because she can take down a bunch of people at once. It's a little bit easier than using my Hunter on the Horde side that I use for, like, the cloth since he needs them. So, just letting you know, it's going to be a little bit different. It's probably going to be a little bit different from now on out because a lot of the places that you get stuff from are both for both sides. So... Yeah. Anyhow, we were at the Maker's Terrence over here by Alderman. If my map wants to cooperate. And we are going to be killing these Shadow Forge surveyors and whatnot and diggers. And instead of my normal 10 minutes, though. I'm only going to go six minutes, because there are five areas I have to do. Four with Loriana here, and one I'm going to have to switch up for to Giannis. So, it's going to take time to do everything. So, oh, hello, Jarnar mission. <laughs> yeah, that's something new for Jarnar. Yeah, you got to see that before I start it. <laughs> they give you little missions, you send people out, and... Your little garrison report, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Might see the other one before I start here. This is 29 seconds. It, that was like 30 minutes. It took me 30 minutes to get over here because I had to do... Whatever. Anyhow, six minutes. Killing these guys. See how much silk that we get for them. So... Let's go. Alright guys, that was six minutes, and I managed to get all the way through the cave and back out. Uh, with a loot of 36 silk. It's not too bad for six minutes. Um, also, besides, this is not the only spot. I thought these guys out here would have responded by the time I got out. But they didn't. But it's all okay. Again. I'm going to move on to the next spot. So we can see how much more silk we can get from the next spot. And again, you get all the extra goodies when you're doing this farming stuff. So don't forget about that. And I will be magically back. Alright guys, I'm back and I am in death step. And... Eastern Plague Lands. And I might have to worry about some people here. This book might uh, be only be doing quests. But there was somebody else here farming just a few minutes ago because this is the best place to farm silk. The best place. Unlike the other place where, you know, there's only at 30 something. But I wanted to start there because of how I was going up the map. So. Just listen to my voice. This is the best place. But this whole video is about the places that you can go. So, I started with one that's a little bit lower and was closer to me. But this is the best place and I, uh, might have to wait until this undead warlock is finished doing their quest here, but these guys respawn pretty fast, so let's I need to respond to my guild but I'm so sorry guys and it's like me and him are the only ones online so <laughs> I 
Uh, there's that undead warlock again. As I said, I might have to wait till he's done. I forgot how many you actually have to kill for the quest. Oh, excuse me, guys. At least you get a good look at the area and who you have to kill because this undead warlock is killing them. It's the dust up purifiers and you have to get killed the miscreations. As well because they come as a package deal. And I appeared some more over there. And some more appeared right here. They seem to spawn pretty fast. I still want to do my six minutes to show you guys how much silk you'll get. But I'm waiting for him to get done because he's obviously doing his quest because he's only like level 42. And these guys are like level 40, 39, 40. So, he's obviously doing his quest. There was a 60, 62 priest, night elf priest here, who was farming silk because, as I said, this is the best place. And, but, see, there's the problem. You might run into other people while you're doing the farming. And, that's why I'm showing you everywhere. That's a possibility. Oh, he just leveled up. <laughs> Good for him. I think these people would be like, oh my god, I'm in a YouTube video. <laughs> if they knew what I was doing. But, it's more, uh, Um, my garrison, because, um, I need, it was flashing and it was bothering me. <laughs> I hate stuff that's like, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, flash, flash, look at me. I think he may be done. Alright. Let's start this before anybody else comes along. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Let's start this. I've got six minutes on the clock starting now. Alright, guys. That was six minutes. And as you can see, I had some competition there. There was uh, two warlocks, a goblin one, and a uh, human one. So, everybody knows about this place, I suppose. So I guess that's why it's a good thing that uh, I'm showing you uh, the other places as well. So, now I have 106, so that is a lot more than I had before. I already had 36 before, so... Mm, I'm not very good with the uh, math here. I should have sold it so I could tell you. Let me. Yeah, uh, 70. 70. See, that is a whole lot better. But there's also going to be probably a whole lot more people there. Because it's obviously a well known spot for collecting silk. And. That's not good. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm still not done yet, though. And I haven't done this quest. Look at that, it's Fiona. She's so awesome. Anyhow. <laughs> Enough blabbering. I'm not done. There are just two, two more places I have to do with Loriana. And then I will get on Giannis to show you the one horde one. I mean, they both can... They're all pretty much both but 
I'll explain that. So, I shall be back again. Alright guys, I am magically back. This here is Black Hoof Village, and we are in Dust Swallow Marsh, and it's right on top here where my arrow is pointing. Now, you, this is another place to farm your silk. Not as good as in Eastern Plague Lands, and it's probably going to equal out as much as in Badlands. But, you might not have any competition here except for maybe people trying to do quests. It's not like in Eastern Plague Land where I actually ran into like three people, as you probably could have seen. Well, you might not see the first one, but you probably saw the, the last two. But, we're going to quickly go through this. Because I still have one more place to do with Lori here. And then um, I have a place to do with Giannis. So we're going to quickly see how many silks we can get. And I cleared out my bag. So it's nice and clear. So we don't have to worry about me trying to add up stuff because I'm horrible at it. Anyhow, let's go. Alright guys, there's our six minutes in Black Hoof Village. Let's see what we got. 40. Not too bad. So, that's better than Badlands, but not as good as Eastern Plague Lands. So, so far we've got an okay spot, a very good spot, and a little bit better spot than the first one. So, but again, as I said, no competition here, like in Eastern Plague Lands, and there is no competition in Badlands. So, if these guys respawn very quickly, the guys in Badlands did not. So, uh, I still have one more spot to go with Loriana, and I'm going to switch over to Giannis, and I'm going to finish talking then, so I shall be back again. Alright guys, I'm back, and this is new Thalinar, which is in the lovely Feralos, and it's right here, again, where my little arrow is, because you cannot see my cursor. Uh -huh. That's how I have Bendicam set up. But, this is one of the interesting areas. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> I had an issue with my nose. This is one of the alliance only areas and I am air quoting because you could come here as a horde but you would have to be like 70-ish and above because this is technically an alliance territory is thing. Now there's the same way with a horde one which is why I'm going to get on Giannis as soon as I finish here, to show you that one, so you know, everyone before this has been both Alliance and Horde, but with no problems. So, this one would be a problem for a Horde player, but not an Alliance one, and the vice versa for when I get on Giannis. But we are going to be killing the Grim Totem Marauders here. And I don't know what happened to my V. There it is. Okay. But let's see how much these guys give us. So let's go all kitty cat. And let's start. Alright guys, there's our six minutes at New Thalinar. By the way, this place is a really good place to um, farm the spirit daughter egg too. Because you kill, you can kill a bunch of them in one blow. And they have a pretty good respawn rate. So, we have 116. And now let's leave this up to Ember's wonderful math skills. It requires a calculator. <laughs> that was 76. So, this seems like another really good place. And you don't really have any competition here. Again, unless there's somebody doing a quest, which I didn't see. So, so we have the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> When it comes to the filming, uh, filming, ooh, ah, I can't talk. Excuse me, guys. I'm supposed to be professional, and <laughs> I'm far from it. Uh, it, 
and when you come to farm in these places. So, I'm probably going to leave this in the description below. Like, I'm going to list it, that which ones are the best and whatnot. Even though I'm mentioning it here, but you guys can read it before you watch. And I just hit my microphone, so that probably sounded wonderful. But I'm not done yet, so... I'm also going to mention, like, I'm going to list that this is only Alliance or Upper Horde. Because the videos are starting to get a little bit different from what they were before when I was doing both Alliance and Horde ones. But now that we're getting to the upper levels of the cloth and whatnot, they're going to be more combined. Because that's how the areas have started to get, is more combined and not you know, just specifically to Alliance or Horde territory. Oh, excuse me. So very much. So, not done yet. I will be back again, but Loriana will magically turn into a Blood Elf. I'll nail one at that. So, I shall be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. And now, Loriana has magically turned into Giannis. <laughs> Oh no, I had to switch over to him. And we are at West Reach Summit. And a thousand needles. This is actually a horde area. And as you can see, there's even a flight here, so this is why I had to use Yannis. As I mentioned with Loriana, the other area is Elias, but High Horde. The same goes with this. This can be Horde and High Alliance. And we are killing the Grim Total Pillagers here, so... And they go across to the other side. So let's start this up, and I'll talk afterwards. So, let's go. And there's our six minutes, guys. And I got an epic piece of jewelry, apparently. He's only item level 43, but somebody might like that. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. Let's go back up here yeah, because I need to blah 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 for a second. <clears throat> 48 pieces of silk. Not too bad. Not the best and not the worst. I'm going to do a quick recap. So we're going to see the maps on the screen real quick. I'm going to mention them in the order that I did them in here. Eastern Plague Lands. I did not do first. So scratch that. <laughs> that was just on my paper first. I'm sorry. Badlands, Horde, and Alliance, they both do that. That was pretty poor as in the getting silk department because the guys didn't respawn very fast and they also didn't drop a lot of silk. Eastern Plague Land is one of the best places to get the silk. Has a lot of competition from other players, and also it's Horde and Alliance as well. Dust Swallow Marsh, not too bad on Silk Drop. The guys responded pretty fast. No competition unless people are doing their quests there, which I didn't have a problem with. Horde and Alliance as well. Fairless. More on the Alliance side, high level Horde can go there. And had a pretty fair drop rate. So the guys responded pretty fast. So if you're Alliance, I would suggest that. If Eastern Plague Lands is not, you know, there for you. They had a bunch of people there or whatever. And I just got done the Thousand Needle for the Horde. Also high level Alliance. But it had a okay drop rate of 48, is it? A, but the guys respond pretty fast. 
you have a warrior or, or a druid or something that can like clear stuff pretty fast I think you would be good to go on thousand needles with your horde or high level alliance you gotta remember both Theralos and thousand needles or alliance cities and horde cities quote unquote so you have to be careful if you're going to use the opposite ones in those areas but you have many more options so I don't know why you would want to do that anyhow guys that's it for now and I will see you in the next episode so for now Happy farming! Isn't she so beautiful? Don't turn around, Lorianna. There we go. And this may seem a bit familiar. Ian Green Warden's Grove. And we are going to be just attacking everybody in this area. Because they're the ones who drop the wool that we need level of hordies and I will be doing all three locations which includes Shadow Fang Keep again which if you watch my Alliance one you know that was in there so I get to go to Shadow Fang Keep yay which is good because I need some money because I don't have a complete fly-in with him so but this troll is going to be cramping my style here because these are the guys that I need to kill the Ebony Slave Hunters and the Dragon Mall Wealth Stealers. So, 